Do you know that you can hide your hidden photos in the Photos app? Do you know that you can use the backdrop to screenshot? And do you know that you can use your phone to scan a document? Hey everyone! My name is Yaya and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And because I am so overwhelmed by the support that I received from my iOS 14 home screen customization and iPhone videos, in today's video, I will share with you 20 iPhone hacks that can help you to maximize the use of your iPhones. Ang iba dito is baka alam nyo na and some of it might surprise you and can make your life easier. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. But before anything else, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video kagaya nito. So we are going to start with hiding your photos in the photos application. Go to photos and choose a photo that you want to hide. Just use the And then choose hide and then hide the photo. The hidden photo will show when you scroll down in the utilities and then in the hidden album. How to hide your hidden photos and remove it from the photos application. Just go to settings. Then search for the photo, photo settings, and then enable the hidden album. So, kapag bumalik ka sa Photos app, wala na yung hidden album. And pag pinalik mo siya, see, it will appear again. Super easy. How to mirror your photos? Di ba kapag nag-take tayo ng selfie, ang magiging result lagi is naka-mirror yung photo like this. Para hindi mangyari yun, ganito ang gawin nyo. Just go to settings and look for the camera settings. And then, enable the mirror front camera. And para naman mapabilis ang pag-take natin ng selfies, just try this. Long press your camera and then, ta -da! Take a selfie. You can even do a slow fee or slow mo selfie by using this. Go to camera, slow mo, then click the arrow. By tapping at the back of our iPhones, you can even do a screenshot or open an app. And to do that, to do that, Go to Settings, Accessibility, then Touch, then go down, back tap, and you can change kung anong gusto nyong setting to either double tap or triple tap. So, pag double tap, for example, you want to use or you want to screenshot, just click, just click on Screenshot. And then, kapag nag-double tap kayo, see, 
super easy. Auto screenshot. Just click done and then save. To scan a document using the Notes app, go to the Notes app. New document. And then, click the camera and then scan a document. And you can even draw a perfect shape using the Notes app. Go to the Notes app. And then choose this pencil. And then hold your lang siya. You can even draw other shapes like or even For bigger iPhones, kung nahihirapan kayo mag-type and hindi nyo ma-reach yung other side of the phone by just using one hand, you can do this. Just long press the smiley and it's, you can either choose left, long press the smiley, or right keyboard. Pwede siyang ibalik using the arrow. Minsan, kapag nagtatype tayo, di ba nahihiram tayong i-move yung cursor in between text? To make your life easier, just do this. Just press and hold the space bar kung saan nyo gustong itapat yung cursor. Para naman mapabilis ang pagta-type nyo, you can just slide through your keyboard. You can just slide through the keyboard. To undo and redo typing, you can just Okay, shake mo lang. The next hack is if you already watch my iPhone home screen customization, ililink ko siya dito. You can hide or unhide your home screen pages by using this or by doing this. Just long press the home screen and then tap this and then hide, hide, hide. Ang matitira lang is yung mga nakacheck na home screen. See? Para ibalik, just press this. Check, check, check. Done. Just press on the empty space. And it's back. Siguro yung iba sa inyo alam na ito, pero you can take photos habang nagre-record ka ng videos. To do that, Hey guys! Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video kagaya nito. Thank you so much for watching! Bye! Now let's do some hacks for the calculator. If you want to delete or change the number that you just typed, just do this. Just go to the calculator application. And kapag nagkamali kayo and gusto nyo i-delete yung last nyong tinipe, 
the slide 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 Hindi mo na kailangan ulitin pa yung pinay mong number. And if you want to change your calculator into scientific calculator, super easy lang nito. You can just just make sure na naka-unlock yung cell phone screen nyo and then go to home and then go to calculator and then ta -da! now scientific calculator na siya pag binalik nyo or kapag naman tinatama tayo mag-open ng calculator app pwede namang scroll down then 5 plus Five. And the result will be ten. Ready din naman conversion. Five kg two grams equals five thousand grams. You can use that even without using Wi-Fi or internet. Sometimes kapag nasa labas tayo and meron tayong gustong i-recognize sa music or a song, pwede natin gamitin ang phone natin by doing this. Go to settings. Control center. And then, just add the music recognition. When you scroll down, you will see this icon. And then, kapag may music or may sounds na gusto kayong nga identify kung ano yun, kung anong title nun, just click this. Just make sure that you have the Shazam app. Also, kapag wala tayong measuring tape or wala tayong dalang ruler or metro, you can use our phone. To do that, just go to measure app. And then, you can measure, for example, this one. Just add a point. Drag nyo lang siya. Ta-da! Hindi man siya accurate, pero ito yung at least estimate kung gaano kahaba yung isang bagay. Or surface. And, pwede nyo din siyang gawing level. Just open the measure up. Ito yung level. Sa level siya. And, to search or change Wi-Fi network faster, you can do this. Just scroll down and then long press the Wi-Fi icon and then long press the Wi-Fi and then you will see the available Wi-Fi connections and in that case, makikita nyo kung alin doon yung mas mabilis yung connection or kaya naman kung ano yung mga Wi-Fi na available doon sa area. You don't need to go to the settings and then Wi-Fi. This is much easier and simpler. Some of these hacks might work on the latest iOS version, so be sure to update your iPhones. So, let me know kung natry nyo and then may bago kayo na-discover and kapag meron pa kayong mga gustong i-share ng mga iPhone hacks na ginagamit nyo in your everyday lives to make your life easier, just comment down below because sharing is caring. Thanks so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video kagaya nito. Bye! See you in my next video!